Welcome back to the channel, it's Nine, and I did not expect to be back so soon with another video, but PlayStation just dropped some pretty big news over on Twitter. Uh, they have dropped a state of play announcement and a PlayStation blog post. This will be going live on Tuesday, September 13th, and they've got a description of what to expect. So we're gonna talk about that. Before we jump into that, do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video, helps the channel a ton. Now let's talk about what they had to say in this PlayStation blog post. With Tokyo Game Show just around the corner, it's almost time to celebrate the amazing creative contributions of the Japanese game development community, and it's also a perfect time to kick off another State of Play. State of Play returns tomorrow, Tuesday, September 13th, with the new live broadcast at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. BST. You can watch it live on Twitch and YouTube. For tomorrow's show, we'll have some great updates from our amazing Japanese partners, along with a few surprises from developers all around the world. Expect about 20 minutes of reveals, new updates, and fresh gameplay footage for 10 games coming to PS5, PS4, and PSVR 2. See you tomorrow. So it's happening tomorrow, right? There's going to be a state of play. The thing is, this is not the PlayStation showcase we're expecting. This is more in relation with uh, the Japanese side of development from the looks of it. We're going to get other stuff as well. Um, I think we can expect some Final Fantasy here for sure. I think that Final Fantasy 16, pretty much a given going to be here. I do wonder if Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth will be here. I do wonder if we're going to see other, you know, games from Square Enix as well. They have some games with Capcom as well. I believe Pragmata was one of them that we haven't seen yet. And that's, if I'm not mistaken, is that an exclusive? I can't remember. Uh, there's still a lot to be seen here and there's still a lot to be excited about. You know, sadly, this is just not that PlayStation showcase that we've been hoping and waiting for. So that's the downfall or the downside of all this. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to get a PlayStation showcase. It could very well happen in October now, which is starting to look like is very likely it's going to happen in October at this rate. Or it could still happen in the end of September. It's still not out of the question, but it looks as though... This state of play is definitely throwing a wrench into everything. And the way Sony does things in Sony fashion, they, they really throw us off a loop. We, we don't know what to expect with them. We don't know uh, how to predict them at this point. Everything seems to be different every now and again. And, and they seem to surprise us over and over again. So yeah, PlayStation state of play and then a showcase maybe, maybe in October, maybe late September still. I don't know what to make of this, but overall, still a lot to be excited about. I can't wait to see what they reveal tomorrow. This is very exciting news. I don't want people to get too uh, torn up on these other things. Like, be excited. There's a lot to be excited here with the state of play. I know we're waiting for the showcase. And I know, you know, we want to see those first party titles. That will come in due time. But I think there's a lot to be excited about, especially with how well the last state of play was. So, very excited for this one to drop this for you guys uh, as this just happened now. So... Yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you expect at the state of play? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Let me know. As always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, hit the notification bell, get notified about all my upcoming videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.